Today's toy spot is on the Superman Batman DC Direct Series 7, the search for kryptonite. We're looking today at Batman. One of the nicer Batmans from DC Direct. People have asked, what is a good Batman figure to pick up? I would say the DC Direct Series 7 Batman is definitely a good figure to go with. Before we have a look at the figure, of course, we'll look at the package. Batman fe features a very, very strange uh, designed Superman up the top. The Batman doesn't look too bad, the Superman looks a little weird. It kind of looks like Eon Flux. Still the Superman Batman logo, which I have not warmed up to. Um, on the back of the package, the other figures in this wave, we've got Superman, we've got Batman, we've got Livewire, one of the very few Livewires, and Aquaman. The read-up on Batman says, After using the GL JLA computer to track down hidden stashes of kryptonite, the world's greatest detective and the Man of Steel are shocked to discover... Bum, bum, bum. The green rock is strewn to every continent all over the earth. That's not good. <laughs> I like that they also say still available. Still, please, please buy it. Um, I have pretty good figures, though. Uh, another good Batman, by the way, and I will eventually get around to reviewing it, is the Batman Series 6, Enemies Among Us. Uh, the Batman. Probably one of the nicest Batmans. Of course, we're not looking at that one right now. What we'll do, though, is we'll get the Series 7 Batman out of his package, and we will have ourselves a better look at the figure. Stay tuned. Once again, the Batman is including the Batman Superman logo stand. Once again, also having the the smaller base bottom, and I really, again, I don't know why they just can do a small, smooth, right across the bottom base instead of giving this raised. Again, it's probably just to make the shield higher than the wherever you've got the figure standing. Of course, the Superman S. I, just, I don't, li I don't like this logo whatsoever. There could have been an easier way to incorporate the S into the Superman or into the Batman logo. It just looks out of place. But it's a stand. It's only going to be on the... It's only going to be on your shelf anyways, so... At least you get a stand, right? Put that aside. Batman also does come with a very hard... Almost brittle, I would say, because if you were to... I'm not going to do it, because I know I will. If you bend it ever so slightly, it probably would snap. But he does come with a Batarang... As you can see, two holes in there. No doubt for his fingers to be, fingers to go in there. Put that aside, and we'll look at Batman. One of the nicest Batman figures. Kind of really in comparison, this Batman. I would slightly change the face. Granted, the face is not perfect, but I definitely would say a good example of how a Batman figure should look. And I'm hoping the DC Universe Batman is uh, watching this video. The, everything, good example of how you can do a good Batman figure. Um, there's really a lot to be said. One thing I really like is the fact that the coloring. The coloring is nice. It's a nice dark gray. We've got a nice gr um, grungy kind of yellowish uh, utility belt. It's not bright yellow, but it's kind of got that brownish kind of yellow. He's got a really nice bat symbol. Um, and, and I think the easiest one to spot as well is the cape. He's kind of got this really cool cape that sits on on the floor, sits on your on the shelf. I love that. Um, it's rubbery enough that you can still it's it's pliable. I mean, it's not like a solid, you know, piece that's not going to move. Um, the way that the cape also is coming down as well from his cowl, but the fact that his head is still a separate piece, 
Again, really good elements that I wish the DC Universe Batman could have had. Uh, DC Universe Batman is not my favorite Batman. It's probably one of the least favorite Batmans. Um, again, going back to the head, the head is good. It's not great. But I think I, I, I still almost prefer it to the DC Universe Batman. It's got the white eyes. Kind of looks like his lips are a little too colored. But it still works. Definitely still works. Um, lots of detail, lots of sculpt put in his chest. He's very ripped. He's ripped in the legs as well. This Batman is clearly working out. Love it. Um, in the way of Batman's articulation, he has the articulated head. It is on a ball joint. You can get it to move up and down. Not a lot, but still enough. You kind of have Batman saying, what? What's going on? What did Robin do now? Um, he has ball jointed shoulders. The, the cape kind of gets in the way when you want to move the arms out, but to move them up and down, you it's not a, it's not much of a hindrance, and I do like that, just despite for how much it's taking up the shoulder area. Um, he he has the uh, if I can bend it, he's got the jointed elbows which are extremely stiff. Um, he's also got hands that can rotate and also bend in and out. Um, he's got waist articulation, waist swivel. He can bend the legs out. You can bend the knees. Uh, no articulation in the feet, but being it's a DC direct figure, it's to be expected. Um, going back to the Batarang here. I want to make sure I've got the right hand here. Um, I don't know. The way that they've got, the, got it, and I'm sure I'm going to be doing this wrong, kind of looks like you put it in the finger and the thumb, although really... I guess you could probably just put one finger in. Hmm. Just trying to see how they've actually got it here. The hole is very small on the Batarang. No, you know what? It doesn't seem to want to go. I'm sure if I played around with it more, I could probably get it to go in. Very, very cool, though. And you know what? I've also dropped the Batarang. Let's pick it up. Hmm. Unless it goes on this. No, you know what? I can't figure out. I'm sure there is an easier way to be doing all this. Unless it just goes like that. I've got it wrong. I clearly have got it wrong. But at any rate, though. It is, I like the fact that he's got the bat, you know what, you probably just have it holding like that. That's good enough for me. Um, I really, really like this Batman. And again, if, if, you were to, if you were looking for a definitive Batman, you can't go wrong with this one right here. Detailing is nice. The paint is definitely a, is definitely a step up from like the DC Universe Batman. But the the most obvious thing, the obvious uh, aspect of this Batman that I love over the DC Universe Batman that I wish DC Universe Batman would just simply do is I love the I love the way the cape flows, and I love the way that even though it's not connected to the head, it just has a flow to it that the DC Universe Batman does not have. So, Mattel, if you're listening. You want to make a good Batman instead of reusing the same mold over and over again. If you can give us something along this lines with the way the cape is designed, the coloring, that dark, dark gray, then we could have ourselves a really, really good Batman. Because this, I think this is the um, this is the Batman probably to go with. A very, very nice looking Batman. This Batman, I'm going to give a solid 8.52. If you can find it, He's probably still pretty available on eBay and uh, specialty stores if you can find it. But definitely give this guy a chance. You can pick him up, find him, definitely do grab him. 
Um, that was a toy spot. Today we were looking. Hmm. Wonder what Robin is doing. Today we were looking at the Superman Batman Hunt for Kryptonite. We're looking at. Ugh, we'll move that base aside. We're looking today at a very nice Batman. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. What is what is Robin doing?